so hello everyone welcome to this video and i will be explaining the problem 1946 largest number after mutating substring which is a easy problem not that much medium level maybe that's why there are so many dislikes uh, but anyway let's develop our uh, approach to solve this problem and then we will be coding it we will understand the problem through some examples so that like we can solidify our approach uh, so let's say let's understand begin from this example i will be solving two examples so for example 132 you have to just choose a substring you have to choose a substring and then change it okay to from this array so like changing uh so for uh, for example if you start with 132 132 and i decide that okay i will change one which i should because you should change the leftmost one to get the highest uh, resultant uh, number so if i change one it will become 832 so my changing process has started at what uh, one here my changing has started now i will see, see that can i change three uh, if i change three i will make this string become 802 so this is not a good idea so since i can choose only one substring choosing this substring will be my best bet and i will return this answer 832 okay so now understand this example this one is a little bit uh, different than this is a little bit more complex than the previous one and it will help you understand even better so let's say i am beginning at 334111 okay so you come at 3 you see that okay if i start here my three will remain three okay so it will become three three four one 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 then again i will come at here this will again be the same then if i come at four i will see that four is less than three so this will become three 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 one one so you will say that okay i will not choose four uh and i will choose only this much substring and my answer will be this but this will be the wrong approach okay the correct thing should be that if something is equal three, three is equal to three then you should not start your uh, like changing string like you should not start selecting your substring so if three is equal to three i won't start if three is equal to three i won't start if four is less than three uh, there is no problem that's because since i have not started there is uh, i will go further so now i will come at one so one becomes nine so my resultant string will become three three four nine one one so now i have started my conversion uh, like after change so again i will choose one one will become nine and nine so this will go on like this and let's assume suppose there was another number let's say uh, 7 here so if i change 7 7 will become 5 it will become 3 3 4 9 9 9 5 so now since my converges has started and after that there is a number is coming that uh, if i convert it my resultant string will decrease then i have to break from the process and return this current number so this is the approach uh, pretty simple and let's code it now by the way if you have understood the approach then please consider subscribing the channel and liking this video because it helps other people identify if a video is helpful so so now let's start the coding part so first i will make a, val a variable bool flag is equal to false uh, so this basically tells me that if the string has started or not substring selection has started or not so substring has started or or not so this is this tells me this so now i will uh, start my for loop so for int i is equal to zero i less than num dot size i plus plus so first i will ma write my integer a variable let's say num equivalent so num equivalent will be num i minus 0 
so because uh, since this num is in a string format this is in string format i have to convert this character into integer format that's why i'm doing this and i will make another variable int after change after change is equal to change uh, change of num equivalent it is given in the question so now after having these two numbers i will uh, see that if after change is greater than num equivalent okay if the changing is beneficial then first thing i will do is that flag is equal to true it means that my changing substring has started that i have to change okay now i will update this num i is equal to after after change change plus zero so like this will convert my this uh, integer into string format like it strings ascii value or something like this uh, i don't want to get deeper into this because this is not the main agenda of this problem so like this will basically update the current value okay of that suppose it was initially three it was let's say if it is well issue it was initially one it will become nine uh, if i like append this plus zero here i am subtracting here i'm adding so this is it and else if if i will check if my flag is equal to true this means that my conversion had started okay and my after change after change is less than num equivalent so if my conversion has started and after that my uh, after change is less than my current uh, number then i will break and i will return return num so this is the problem let's submit it not a very difficult not worthy of being medium what is the mistake okay it should be num here not nums mm. okay it is submitting now let's submit it it got submitted so this is the problem so if you have understood the problem please do like the video and subscribe the channel and thank you and have a nice day bye bye